What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the traffic mod in Shatroko Revival project in Assetto Corsa. Very simple and quick configuration. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe for more Assetto Corsa content. Let's get straight into it. First thing you guys will need is to download the content manager. So follow this link, it's in the description. Uh, it's called acstuff.ru, that's the website. And you want to download it directly. And once you download it, uh, you will have the zip file. You want to extract it. And this will have the content manager installation. And the goal is for you to move these files to your Assetto Corsa folder. Okay, so this is usually where I put it. So for that, if you want to find the location, you want to go to Steam and you want to go to your Assetto Corsa, right click into it, then go to manage, browse local files, and you should be finding the folder of the game, okay? So I have the folder side by side, and now you want to drag and drop this. So I already have it in my folder, but yeah, just go ahead and drag and drop, and then you will have Content Manager, you can start it up and configure it, uh, if you want to configure it, I will have a different video to help you on that. Uh, next, once you have the content manager set up, you want to look up for the Shutoko Revival Project. So this is the uh, official website, shutokorevivalproject.com. And you want to download the latest release. Currently, it's 0 0.9.3. And just agree to the terms, download it. So this is a bigger file, so you might need to wait a little bit. Um, if it is too slow, you can try again at a later time. But yeah, you should be getting the file. And once you have it, you want to extract it as well. So just extract it and it will take a couple of seconds. And this will be all of the track. Uh, so you will have all of the spawn points and all of that So again, you want to open up the location of your Assetto Corsa game so you can do the same process manage browse local files And you can put them side by side so you know where to copy it So you want to open up the content folder open up the tracks Do the same on the other side and then copy this folder into the tracks folder of your game. So make sure you drag and drop these files into the folder and not into any other folder. Okay, so make sure the drag and drop is actually to the tracks folder. You should see this folder inside of the tracks. So once you have completed this, you can now go to restart Assetto Corsa. And if you go to the drive section on the top, um you will be able to see the track is installed okay so basically you want to go here you want to filter for shotoko make sure you select all tracks and you should be able to see all of the spawn points of the track so you have these daishi pa um main layout shibara tatsumi so the Tatsumi is the one I recommend you guys to, to start with. It's very good. And yeah, so this is it. You have the track set up. And next, what we will do is we will install the traffic mod. So this is a, a separate installation. And you want to look up Shotoko Revival Project 09.1 AI traffic mod. So I want to look this up. And the first website we'll see is overtake.gg. So make sure you download it from this website. Um, and in order to download it, you will actually need to create an account first. So this is completely free. You guys can go ahead and register. So I'm going to show you. You have the basic account, which is free. Just want to select the basic account and then you can go ahead and register. And after that, you can log in into the website. Okay, so I'm just gonna log in myself 
and yes once you are logged in you can now download the mod so just go ahead and download it once again we will want to extract the file and you will need to copy it over to the installation of the game so you can just open up the folder of the game I already had it uh, if you want to save some time actually you can just put it in your favorites so you should see on the on the right side you have all of the tracks so all of the spawn points so you should be able to see that and yes uh, now you'll need to copy it over so before we do that let's just put the Assetto Corsa folder in our favorites so just drag and drop to this left side and then you will have it pinned so every time you want to open the game folder there it is and now you want to go to content uh, you want to go to uh, extension okay basically content tracks sorry it's content tracks shitoku and you want to basically drag and drop these files so just drag from the traffic mod into the shitoku make sure you drag and drop in the right place because sometimes it selects the uh, another folder that's inside so we want to make sure you drag and drop into an empty section so it will actually copy it to the correct folder make sure you do not have a mistake on that and the next thing is you will need to install the traffic planner okay so right now we have installed the traffic cars uh, we have installed the traffic mod sorry and now we'll need the traffic cars so you can just visit this link I'll put it in the description and you want to download this file here in the bottom once you guys unload it you want to go ahead and extract it once again so you will do this process a lot um, so just go ahead and extract it and then again go ahead and open your folder so it should be right there on the left side and then once you have the game folder and the mod folder side by side um, what you want to do now is make sure you have everything on the mod folders so it should look like this and then you want to basically find the extension folder so if you don't have this folder you will need to actually go to the content manager you want to go to settings on the top right then click custom shader patch then you want to go to about and updates and you want to make sure you have installed the custom shader patch version okay so it can be any version uh, you can pick the same as i have currently and once you have it installed you will see this folder will now appear in your game so once you have the extension folder you can now copy over this mod so for that you want to go to lua and then you want to go to tools and then just drag and drop once again uh, so in my case i'm just going to replace it because i already had it but uh, it should not pop up for you if you don't have it before so once you have it copied now you want to make sure you go to your content manager and just restart it so every time you install something it's always better to restart the content manager and yeah so right now we just need to go to settings one more time then go to custom shader patch then go to guy so g u y g u i and graphical user interface and then you want to go to developer apps and want to enable this so point and click objects inspector okay very important make sure that's enabled and now just select the track that we set up make sure you put it in practice make sure you have start from pits so this is all you need just select whatever card you want to use and then press go and it should load up in the track so 
yes we will now see this in action so i'll show you exactly how to set up um, because once you load into the track you'll need to start the traffic yourself so once you are inside you just want to go ahead and press uh, the drive button so the first one on the left so just press it if you want to tweak something else you can do it but yeah just go ahead and press on the wheel button and now if you go to the right side with your mouse you will have a, a sidebar you want to click on this and then you want to look it up for objects inspector if you have the search bar you can look it up otherwise it should be in the developer apps now you want to press tools and then press traffic planner and from here you guys will be able to set up the traffic so you can put how many cars you want um, you can show the lanes just to confirm there's the traffic lanes um, if you want to see them uh, you can also put the spawn cars nearby only um, and you can also change the speed of the car so you notice if I change the speed you can actually see the traffic cars popping in um, so that will be a lot of settings you can guys you can you can tweak here um, so <clears throat> that's basically how you can enable it okay if there's any problem you just press restart and it should fix it so yeah right now I'm just gonna show you a bit of a gameplay uh, so this is all locally it's not in the server it's just locally and you guys can see here that the traffic is completely working so actually I did put uh, like low amount of cars if you guys put like 2,000 cars it will be just a madness so yeah make sure to pick the settings that you guys prefer and just play around with it okay so that's it for this video I hope it was useful if you guys did enjoy it make sure to drop a like and also subscribe and I'll leave you guys with some gameplay and I'm out peace